Hello, good evening and welcome. This is Catherine Gallagher. This is CMG Talk. So we're now at the beginning of January and this is 2023. And we know how the years come and go, don't they? And how often do we find ourselves the beginning of January and before we know it, we're suddenly coming into the summertime and we go, where's the year gone? Where's the year gone? Right? Well, I know I do, right? I can't believe Christmas was there because I wasn't ready for Christmas. I have to say to you, it suddenly was upon me and I was like, Christmas? And usually I'm ready for Christmas in October. I know. I'm <laughs> I'm quite happy to admit it. I plan. And yet suddenly 2022, I was like, what's happened? What's happened to this year? I wonder what your plans are. Do you have plans for 2023? What if you could make 2023 the best year ever? If you were able to look at this year, even although you might have some challenges, you were still able to manage to make it the best year because you were able to look at focusing on a mindset. You were able to surround yourself with connected people that elevated you. You were able to not be pulled down with your mindset by what other people said. You were able to actually focus on set, realistic, meaningful, manageable, goal set, time bound and structured goals. Goals that you were focused on that meant something to you. You see, we're driven by our emotions. Our brain is also tuned in, programmed in to focus on the negative. It's a self-defence mechanism. If you've been listening to my episodes and podcasts, you'll have heard me say this before, right? We have to work at focusing on the positive, seeking out the joy, the happiness often, and retaining and maintaining that mindset. It is up to us, if not me, if not you, then who is responsible for our own mental health and well-being? Yes, of course, we have professionals. I myself have been a mental health specialist and professional for over 25 years. In fact, I was the first ever psychological ambassador because I defined and created the term psychological ambassador nearly 30 years ago. I know that for many years it has been my life's passion and I have dedicated my life to working with mental health because I genuinely believe mental health and physical health are just as important. Many people will know that I nursed And I moved into mental health and I had to leave nursing to do so because I wasn't given, I wasn't basically given the opportunity when I asked for it to specialise. And there was no such thing as mental health nurses when I was nursing. So I had to leave nursing for several reasons, but mainly because I actually wanted to work and specialise in mental health. So I had to leave nursing to be able to create and carve a counselling career. I wonder if you look at how you manage your mental health and how you foresee you being able to manage your health and your focus throughout this year. What do you look at as being your purpose. Sometimes people say to me, do you know, I make some resolutions, you know, I'll think about the beginning of January and I'll say things like, rather than denying myself, I'll think about things that I would want to do more of. Some people will say, you know, I'm going to give up smoking or I'm going to take more exercise or I'm going to eat better and healthier or I'm going to be kinder and less judgmental. What are your resolutions? Have you made any? We know that probably about 90% of the resolutions that people make, they break. 
How do you maintain and hold on to any goals that you set? Well, it's creating the mens- the momentum. It's being able to stay mindfully focused. And we can do that by holding ourselves accountable or have an accountability person with us. I always say if you sign up for somebody to be your accountability person, it's always best to find someone that's going to do it with compassion and kindness. Otherwise, you have somebody going, why have you not done this? And you're going, oh no, oh no, don't, don't come at me. Being able to do things, hold on to things, being able to create and be able to manifest things, make things happen. It's always about visualising, yes, for sure, you have to see it. You have to create it, believe it, to manifest it and make it happen. But you equally have to be able to have the focus. You have to take action. And the small actions make the positive steps. Every small action you take, you make the right choices and decisions. You might veer off sometimes, but you have to be prepared to keep coming back. Mindful focus. Being mindfully present in the choices you're making. Breaking down the steps that you want to take. So, with that in mind, for any podcaster that's following me and liking my podcasts and actively liking, taking action to like my podcast. And any podcaster that has indicated that they are interested in receiving a PDF for creating and manifesting the 2023 visions they have. If you want to make things happen, I created a PDF to help you sit down. All you have to do is to send me an email to stepupcmg at xln.co.uk. And just say, Catherine, can you send me the PDF, please? And I will forward it on to you. Just give me your full name. And if you're interested then in being notified of my trainings, my courses, any of my talks, then you can obviously sign up for them if you want to. This PDF is going to be for you. So if somebody else is interested in it and they want it, then tell them to send me an email and I'll send it to them too. Okay, right? But it really is a way of me recognising people that are listening to my podcasts, people that are actually listening to or joining up in my life, creator and curator Facebook groups. I want to recognise and appreciate people that are supporting me in the work that I do. So if you're interested in receiving it, Send me, as I say, the step up CMG at xln.co.uk and I will send it to you. Get started. Become the person that's creating and curating your own best life. Make 2023 be the year that you're able to continually focus on the goals and the joy that you want to receive into your life. And if there are things that are not working, start making steps to make changes towards it. It might not happen throughout the whole 2023, but start making significant inroads to it because you're worthy of getting the best life. Thanks for joining me. This is Catherine Gallagher and this is stepupcmg at xln.co.uk is the email to send it to me. And you're listening to CMG Talk.